cool ladies and gentlemen welcome to the 11th episode of my rpg maker vs ace video tutorials in this episode i'll be going over how to make items which includes items weapons and armor let's get started by setting up my time and da -da -da -da, let's go ahead okay items like i've explained to you guys you guys know what items is if you watched the episode where i was going over the database so let me go ahead and just um let's make an item that um heals this heal i mean let's make an item that heals and name it this item um icon basically um making skills items weapon you go through basically almost identical processing like the naming and then picking the icon then description this item heals you okay item type you could set this a normal item that means normal everyday item or you could set it to key items meaning they're key items if you play pokemon you should know what it means or any any other rpg so oh my goodness so basically key items are basically just like to progress um events and stuff like the storyline or something like you need a key like a key item could be like a key that you need to get through a door or something like that how much do we want to price this let's go ahead and be no that's just too much let's make this 15 consumable so item type again key item or normal you should get you guys should know but if you don't know you should google it but basically key items just like progresses the story or something like that and then item basically i mean normal basically for every regular every normal day item price is where you set the price but prices are not finalized and they could change the um depending on whoever's making the game because you um the price could be this price now and then when you're making when you're putting the price in the shop you could actually change the price then but as for now this is the um default price consume yes or no meaning when you use this item does it go away or does it still stay in your inventory if you're making potions or anything like that you want to keep this option as yes because you don't want to you don't want the player to buy one item and let it be unlimited scope again similar to don't mind the babies in the background although similar to the skills is the same is the same thing as the skills that means that you could have this item only affect one enemy or enemy random up to four enemies one ally all allies whatever blah 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this to one ally that means you could use it on yourself too um invocation the same 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 thing as the skills that means how fast you want it to act that means if you use it right now how long will it take you to recover those health um, success rate 100% because it's a potion you don't want to have a potion that you use and not it not have it work sometimes repeat how many times you want the effects of the potion to happen how many TP you want to gain when you use it don't know what certain hits does physical attack magical attack blah 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 animation let's go ahead and set this to heal Yikes, babies in the background. Whatever, I'll, I'll choose restore. I'm gonna leave that at certain hit, although I, I, I don't think that's gonna affect anything. Okay, damage is where you set what you wanted to damage, but in this case, we wanted to recover HP. Elemental, let's make this holy. Formula. Okay, and I just 100% realized what formula means. This is basically how much you wanted to recover, but you could make it like um base them um base value times whatever times magical i mean plus magical and blah 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 have it like that but i'm just, i'm we're not gonna do that we're just gonna make it uh, make it one i mean not one 100 so that's basically how much um hp is it So that's how much um hp it uses um 20 just means like the normal damage that means like 100 percent damage so if i pick 100 it's gonna be 100 i think critical let's keep that as, as no effects just like just like the skills 
is just like the skills. That means you could add special effects that you want the skill to also have. Like you can make it recover more HP, gain TP, MP, add stats, remove state um states. I keep on calling it stats. Um, the buffs, buffs, common events, stuff like that. The same thing as the skills. And that's basically all for items. Let's move on to weapons. Weapons a little bit different, but this sword. Go ahead and pick a sword. Graphics that we want. This sword. Ah, does. Um, hand damage. So weapon type again. Um, since my character uses swords, let's make it use swords. Christen love this. Let's make it fifty gold. Um, animation. Go ahead and keep it as slash physical. Okay, here is where it kind of changes up. So you get to set how much attack you want it to do, which is ten. Say how much defense you want the item to give, how much this basically if you set this, that's how much you want the character to gain in stats. But since we only want it to affect attack, let's only make it affect attack. Futures is basically like the actors and the class. Actually just the class, not the act. Oh yeah. Actor too. So basic oh my goodness. Alright, so basically what you want the basically a passive thingy that you want the sword to also do for you when you have it equipped. That means when you have it equipped. You could have it add a special skill to you. That means every time you have the sword on, you get a skill based on that sword. And every time you take off the skill, you don't have that skill. I mean, sword, you don't have that skill anymore. The same as attack. If you wanted to add um, a different element to the attack, um, basically, yeah. The same as weapon. I mean, actors and classes. Now, let's move on to the armor. Armor, 100, actually, 95% identical to the weapons tab so this armor let's go ahead and pick which armor we want Ooh, this one looks fancy and this gold i love gold all right this armor gives five defense let's make it all cap def um armor type Changes to heavy armor because that's what my character uses. Pricing half of the sword. Um, okay, armor type. Okay, not armor type. Equip type is where you want it to get equipped it to the slot you want it to get equipped it to. So, in RPG Maker VS and VSA says one, two, three, four slots that you could do it, but that's other skills that expand how much slots you have. But ah, uh, slots that's funny. Slots, um, dang it um but the default is four so shield means you could if you're making a shield you could only equip that on the shield slot head meaning um helmets you could only equip that into the helmet slot body which is the armor that's what we're gonna pick you can only equip it as in the body slot and accessory the same thing you can only equip in the accessory slot that means you, each type of weapon you're making you have to pick the appropriate equipment type in this case body for armor um gives five defense and again futures same thing as weapons and actor and classes i'm gonna leave that blank because it's not really gonna and that's only basically for advanced stuff if you want it so that's why i'm not like really going into it because that's basically for advanced stuff and that's it for this video so yeah let's actually give it some give these stuff that we just made to my actor which is only body so Right now, we're building that actor, and he's looking badass so far. And that's basically it for this video. Thanks again for tuning in. This is the third, actually the fourth episode I'm doing in a row, if I am not mistaken. One, two, three. Yeah, the fourth episode I'm doing in a row. Next episode, we'll be making and adding enemies to the world. And thanks again for watching. Any kind of feedback. My other, my, The first video I made is just finished. Um rendering so i'm about to upload that like right now um every time i mean any kind of feedback helps me out a lot and keeps me going because the more feedback positive feedbacks i get the more i want to keep doing it i mean i wouldn't be doing something that's making people flamey and stuff like that but 
anyway thanks you guys for watching this video remember thumbs up or like it if you want thumbs up or like it i mean thumbs up or like it it's the same thing um like it and comment i mean like and comment on it if you're enjoying it or thumbs thumb it down and comment if you're not enjoying it and oh my gosh and um subscribe if you want more basically i haven't said that in a while but yeah Peace, and thanks again for tuning in. Stop.